A Map into the World, written by Cal Kalia Yang. The first time we saw the swing and the slide and the garden of greenhouse with the big windows, my mother sat down in a chair in the backyard and said she did not want to get up. Ty Ty's and I looked at the garden and she pointed out tomatoes, green beans, and a watermelon round as my mother's belly. Ty Ty's knelt down to touch the dirt. I asked my mother if I could try the swing and she said, yes, Pinatum. The greenhouse became our house. I helped Tai Tai's hang the special story cloth about how the Hamon got to America on the empty wall by the big window on the living room. We saw an old man and woman through the window. They waved. We waved back. Later, my mother and father brought us across the street. The old man's name was Bob and the old woman's name was Ruth. Up close, I can see that they were even older than Tai Tai's. Tai Tai's and I were in the garden picking tomatoes and beans and checking on the watermelon when my parents brought my baby brother home from the hospital. I ran to the gate. The boys were smaller than my baby dolls but cuter than any doll with their fuzzy heads and red lips and round brown eyes. Some days the babies cried very loud. I covered my ears with my hands and asked my father to take me outside. Bob and Ruth sat on their special bench. We waved back and forth. The leaves of the two ginkgo trees by Bob and Ruth's house turned yellow like apricots. One day, a brisk wind blew and the fan-shaped leaves came falling down. They covered the grass and the street and the dark mouth of the drain. Bob raked while Ruth sat and watched. I brought in a leaf for the babies to touch, but my mother said, They're still too little, Pinatum. The snow made the world quiet around us. We stopped seeing Bob and Ruth outside. The snowflakes fell on their driveway and glittered in the gray light. I made a ball of snow for my brothers, but it melted before they woke up from their nap. At night, I looked out our big window at Bob and Ruth's house to see their lights shining across the dark street. Sometimes I saw a shape of a person looking back at me. I waved, but the shadow person never waved back. On a cold morning, cars came to our block, filling the street. Car doors slammed as men and women in thick jackets walked quickly to Bob and Ruth's house. My father said, Ruth has died. Her family is coming to say goodbye. I felt sad for Ruth. My brothers just played with the toys above them. The cars kept coming and going and the next day and the next day I swayed back and forth on my toes by the big window. I tried to lift one of my brothers so the people could see how cute he was, but he cried and my mother said, you're still too little to carry him, Pinatub. After the Hamung New Year, my baby brothers learned how to sit on their own and we all sat looking out the window together. I clapped for them when a plane flew across the high skies. They laughed every time. The house across the street looked empty. The ginkgo trees reached for the sky with their thin fingers. When the snow started melting, I could not wait to return to the swing and the slide and the garden. My baby brothers crawled all over the floor, underneath the table and the chairs. They were like puppies, their tongues licking everything. I found the first worm of spring on the sidewalk and named her Annette. I walked to bring her inside so my brothers could watch her wiggle, but my mother said, I don't think so, Pinatum. The world became green again and finally we all went outside. Tai Tai's planted green onions. I picked flowers from the lilac bushes for my brothers to smell. They opened their mouths and tried to eat them. My mother said, don't let them eat the flowers, Pinatum. We took the babies outside again the next day after lunch. Bob's garage door opened and we all watched as he pushed out his special bench. He sat down alone. I pulled on my mother's sleeve until she looked at me. I whispered an idea in her ear. My mother and I crossed the street and walked over to Bob. I let the sidewalk chalk bucket swing in my hands. I asked my mother to ask Bob if I can draw on his driveway. I said, if he doesn't like it, the rain will come and wash it away. Bob nodded and said, go ahead. My mother and Bob talked in low voices. I could hear Bob say, Ruth, she was with us for 60 years. I started my picture with a teardrop and then I made it splatter like sunshine. I drew lines leading away from the splatter sun in many directions. I drew a line that led to the garden. There, I put a yellow ginkgo leaf. I drew a line that led to the grass. There, I made the sparkling snow. I drew a line to the sidewalk. 
There I put a smiling worm named Annette. I drew an arrow to our house. There I added lilac flowers. And then I drew a line, the biggest line of all, toward the street, and there I drew the whole world. When I was done, I walked quietly to my mother and to Bob. They stopped talking, and Bob shook my hand. What did you draw for me, he asked. I said in a whisper, a map into the world, just in case you need it. Bob said, I think I might. The end.